A learning difference is a feeling of loneliness and the feeling of security that comes from a person who understands. It's someone frustrated at you for not learning like the others. It's two people looking at your painting. You are an amazing artist. It's looking over at your friend who solves math problems so much faster than you. It's writing page after page of creative writing in the third grade. A learning difference is frustration and tears. It's your mom tucking your hair behind your ear late at night when you can't figure out a math problem. It's saying things differently. It's art, dance, and song. It's anger, and then sometimes it's laughter. It's misunderstood for laziness. It's a congratulations for putting in so much effort. It's always told to hurry, but it's never on time. I was originally scared to go to college. I heard all these stories about how you'll be one of several hundred in a giant lecture hall where you could barely see your professor. Uh, I went to a really small high school, you know, graduating classes around this size, and I didn't think I could do it. Like, I didn't think I would do as that well. Uh, but here I am. Uh, Landmark was great. I, I've had, never had a class bigger than 18 people. You're gonna miss it. I never thought college would be an option for me. Um, I never thought I'd be here today. I'd like to thank Landmark College for accepting me and giving me a chance. I'd like to thank my parents for literally dragging me through school. <laughs> um, I appreciate it so much. I'd like to thank my best friend Lisa for being there at 2 a.m. in the morning pulling me back together. And I'd like to thank Arnell Hanley whoop, whoop, for being the best RD ever and supporting me through my huge change of not speaking for a whole year and then this semester blooming and being wild and crazy. <laughs> thank you so much. I didn't think I was gonna like this place one bit and I could not have been happier to have been proven wrong. The faculty, the students, they are all just so, uh, so amazing. And I honestly don't think I would have gotten to where I am right now if it weren't for every, each last one of you. And you guys are just amazing. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. And although I've been kind of given a bad break with my LD, I have an awful lot to live for. Thank you. I would like to thank the professors, staff at Landmark College who have helped me come this far. The support I received at Landmark College is the reason I am standing here today. This is truly a dream come true. From the very first moment that I arrived on campus, I felt smart, accepted, and a part of this big family. The experience that I have here and the friends that I have made will be a part of my heart forever. I will look forward to my next adventure at Mitchell College where I will pursue my bachelor's degree. Thank you for changing my life. Mom, you love me? Do you love me? No, you can't say that. Do you love me? Um, I forgot my speech, but <laughs> before, before, before you go off, I do remember what I was going to say. Um, I would like to thank the science department, Ms. Kim and Sydney Toman, even though they would mix me up with Jamal. Um, I'd also like to thank my advisor for advising me in the ways of achieving my goals that I want to achieve. Um, I would like to thank my friends, um, especially four of them, two which I will not name. Um, some of them are sitting over there. Um, the other two is Everett and Cameron Drugan, my bridge mates. They've been there and our friendship is everlasting. Thank you, Landmark, for giving me the support, strength, and tools I need to be able to succeed everywhere. Thank you to the parents who sent your children to Landmark, because without you, Landmark would not exist. First, I'd like to thank my parents for being my foundation uh, all my life. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, John Wood and Ellen Wood, who can be here today, but they are great, the best RDs you could ever ask for. Um, I'd like to thank all the faculty and staff who have been here. Um, there's just a couple of professors I'd like to mention, specifically Professor Hinckley, who taught me that what you learn in a classroom is not necessarily what you learn in a textbook. 
uh, Professor Dr. Miller, who's taught me that world religions can actually be a fun class. <laughs> I'd like to thank Professor Samuel Rowlett, who introduced me to art and therefore introduced me to painting. Um, I'd like to thank Meg Murtha, my advisor, for being one of the most excellent advisors you could ever ask for. And thank you, Landmark College, for giving me an opportunity I never thought I would have. Knowing that I have accomplished this biggest goal that I set for myself since high school was um, a wonderful feeling. So today, I not only accomplished something for myself, but also for my mom. Uh, she couldn't be here today. Uh, she passed away when I was 10. So uh, I want to um, say um, thank you to her and my family. Thank you. Just try to remember how to breathe, like the arrival and departure of waves. I think I say this every year, but people come and go so quickly here. Try to remember what you felt yesterday. You know that every moment is fleeting, but you can't keep mourning the death of every day. You have always known there could be no duplicate chapters, although a couple paragraphs have similar words and phrasing. Why not take the time to touch the cover of books and to bury yourself in the smell of their pages, or to count how many words begin with the letter R? You don't get the chance to read it over again. The details are what make it breathe. I feel the wind rising and I see the pages of all my possibilities unfurling around me. Limitless doorways leading to limitless rooms. Fear swells and catches in the back of my throat or in the motion of my lungs. The expanse of potential weighs heavy on my back as I try repeatedly to roll it up the mountain. Bones and ligaments stretch and weaken beneath endless expectations, but the persistence of my movements sustains me. I would like to thank my mom for making me come to Landmark against my will. Um, Rebecca Maddy and Matt Gander for making me want to stay longer than one semester. And Samuel Rowlett, John Rose, and Jen Morris for making me so glad that I did. Thank you. Life throws you challenges, and it's how you overcome those challenges that defines your character. And I believe that everybody on this stage here today has proved that we can do anything that we put our minds to. A learning difference is not a dead end road. It isn't belittling, and it certainly isn't stupid. It's not unfeeling, it isn't laziness, and it's not an excuse. It's not a fixed mindset, it does not ask for scorn. A learning difference is not who I am, but it's a part of who I am. I'm gonna get out of here so far, so fast, you ain't gonna hear them shooting at me if they were using howitzers. And that ain't because this is a place you need to run from, but the only proper way to leave a launching pad is in a blaze of glory.